Well, hello, boys and girls. This is when I feel like at a clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Coming to you live from the basement of my Seattle apartment. I just did a live frolic fun thing with uh, Peyton from uh, Peyton on the radio. It's a channel. Go check it out. It's pretty cool. We did the Edmonton Oilers versus the Winnipeg Jets. I was the uh, analyst. He was a play-by-play -play guy. And uh, it was lots of fun. We had so many people. It was great. But it's gotten late now, so I don't really have all that much time to do this pick video for you. But I'm going to do it for you anyways. Hit the subscribe and the bell because we like it here in YouTube land when you do that sort of thing. Okay. I'm going to give you the quick picks right away. Capitals ML. Over five and a half. Canadians ML under six. Leafs in reg over six and a half. Shh. Do I have Sharks PL over five and a half? Really? And Vegas ML over five and a half. Are those the right scores? Yes, they must be. Yeah, they are. Uh, so, anyways, only five games tomorrow. Uh, those are the picks. So you can run off now if you want to. Or you can go listen to how I came up to those picks because we're going to talk about them. And we're going to talk about how we did tonight, which is the 18th. Those are picks for the 19th. So go, go, go shuffle off and make your bets now or you can stick around and we'll talk about our picks that we did tonight, which are eh. And we'll go into a deeper dive of our picks for tomorrow. All right, let's go over to the, what's the scores today? Okay, Coyotes versus Ducks. We need the Coyotes to score here. And to tell you the honest truth, the Ducks are out playing them. But uh, it's 2-2 with 14 minutes left. We had the under. So we only want one goal, and we want that goal to be the Coyotes. And we're sitting pretty. Doing well if we do that. Uh, <laughs> Devils, we had the Devils. We had the Devils. We had the over, though. But we had the bigger pick on the Devils. I just like the Devils there because the Penguins were out without Malkin. Uh, the Devils were more rested. It just seemed like a really good spot for the Devils there. And we got it. This was good. We had the Bruins and the under here. In regulation, I think... No, no, we had... Did we have ML or in? I think it was ML actually, because I was afraid of the Sabers, because they just fired their coach. Uh, however, I just couldn't go against any. I could never go against, go bet on a team that has Carter Hutton in net. Just can't do it. So, I didn't, and uh, that turned out well. Uh, here we didn't do well. I had the Islanders. I didn't know what the Flyers were going to do after last night. They apparently did all right. They did okay. They uh, they were up 3 nothing and then almost lost it. And then came back and scored again. They certainly make everything a circus there in Flyers land. I'm a Flyers fan. But the good news is the biggest play was actually on the over. We had the over here. So we're just up a little bit. This is where things start to fall apart, though. We had the Hurricanes. Uh, if you look at my, uh, what I wrote in my analysis report, I was afraid of the Columbus Blue Jackets because they just had three days rest and they had time to, uh, Tortorella had time to, to practice with their new players like Lion and stuff like that. I was afraid of them. So I just went ML here, but I did do large pearls on it. We lost a lot on this one because we had, uh, I think we had small on the over, so we we didn't we're not we're we're down. It's a down day after that. Let's put it that way. Even more of a down day here. We had Blackhawks for small, but just small, like half a pearl, and uh, we also had the under for half a pearl. Not a big play. Didn't like the game. Could have saw it go either way. Lightning came out and won. This is where we lost again. We had. Big pearls on the Panthers here in regulation, and uh, they did not get it. The Predators, my gosh, Saros was back. I might have thought a little bit about it with Saros being in, but probably not. 
all the truth, I just didn't think the Predators were going to win this. And uh, what's that, their third win in a row? So we got to start taking the Predators a little more serious now. I, I just don't know how they're doing it. All their guys are hurt. It's got to be something to the – I didn't get to watch this game. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll check to see what was the uh, shots and all of that. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section if you watched it. But here's a good one. We had the Red Wings. See, it was like really bad to really good. We had the Red Wings. We had the under. So we caught up here maybe close to even here. Jets versus Oilers, we had very small pearls. And uh, we, we lost a little bit here, but I, I didn't like this game. I had the Jets ML, and I, th today was a day of reflection and uh, learning because the Jets had just played two games against the Montreal Canadiens that were very difficult. The Oilers just came off an easy game against the Flames. I should have been all over the Oilers here, and I should have been all over the under here. I don't know why I put a little bit on the over. I said in my uh, an, an analysis, I, I don't like to bet over on two teams. It doesn't matter who they are when it's a back-to-back. -back. And I should have stuck with that. But I thought, oh, but these two teams have so much offense and they play so many overs that I'm going to throw it on there, blah, 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 blah. Piss me off. Wild over Avalanche, I changed this. After I found out that Makar and uh, By By um, Byram were going to be in, and uh, I went Avalanche, and uh, Avalanche destroyed them. They outshot them like crazy. With Makar and Byram in, I mean that's a strong wild team, and they really blew them up. But so maybe even down a little bit. Not usually a down day for us. We don't usually do that sort of thing here at Pearls of Wisdom Ministry, but I think we kind of did have a down day today. I might have to book myself into Perlo's House of Spanking for tomorrow. You can all do that too. Just look it up, Perlo's House of Spanking. And uh, if you want, give me a call. I'll send the Perlo copter over to you and you can go down there because sometimes you just need a good spanking, right? Yes, that's why I started the business. Tomorrow, let's go to tomorrow's games. We only have five games. So here we are, the odds. Rangers versus Washington. Rangers coming off that huge win from the Philadelphia Flyers, which was really hard to judge how good they were because the Flyers played so poorly. Washington is simply crushing it right now. And I... Must be something in the trends. I never really looked. I'll have to look this up before I send it out to my patrons. By the way, you can go to become a patron. I just had somebody ask me in the comment section how to become a patron. I give a link in the in the description. If you want, I'll send you a link right in the comments. Go over there. I'll give you a free month. And uh, you can enjoy the frolic. It's lots of fun. Uh over five and a half. I don't know why you're not getting any juice on this. Hold off on it. I don't understand. Rangers versus Washington. Georgiev's going to be in net. All the firepower on this team. The Rangers' defense is meh. Uh, Washington's is okay, but they're a high-powered team. I don't get it. Take the over. Wait for better juice, though. But I'm over on that. And I'm going to take Washington ML. What's the ML? They're just going so strong right now um, that uh, I, I don't think they're gonna, there's any reason that they're going to overlook Washington here. Uh, the Rangers here? No, because they're playing the Rangers again. So, yeah, I'll take Washington ML on that one. I'm going to temper my bet on that simply because the Rangers have been playing better. And Washington has a tendency to undervalue certain teams that are lower in the lineup and maybe don't play their hearts out all the time. Happening a lot less with Laviolette as the coach, though. So there's that. Montreal versus Vancouver. Um, this is a, what do I have here? I think I have the Canadians to win this and under six. That's assuming Demko is in here. Be careful for this. Don't bet this game. 
This is a back-to-back -back situation. And hope they could play. I would play Holtby here myself. I would play Holtby here and hope that they go with Price. Um, because uh, why would I... Yeah, I play Holtby here and hope that you win this game. And then play Demko against the more tired team tomorrow when they play Allen. You got a better chance to win the second game here if you're Vancouver. I don't know if that's what they're going to do. But I think either way, Montreal is uh, in a better position here, I believe, schedule-wise. Yes, Vancouver has been playing a crap load. Uh, Vancouver is not likely going to win that game tomorrow. So maybe they will play Demko here. Vancouver, yes, because they're going to be playing four games and six nights on the road, back to back. So they probably will play Demko here. Are they going to win that game? Demko is crazy hot right now. That is, this is a very close game. I am not sure. Demko against Price, though, I'll... Lean the under. I'm going to have to think about that. But for now, I'm going to go Canadians at home. And the under. Okay? That's what I'm doing for now. If you want to find out what my final pick on that is, again, go over to Patreon. You can get my final pick. Uh, San Jose versus St. Louis. St. Louis is just energy has been brutal. Uh, they have been on the road crazy amounts uh very injured something is amiss in oh is this going to be a back-to-back -back situation okay um one of these are going to play jones one of these are going to play dubnik for san jose for and then uh san jose is off the road coming off the road going to play at home one thing I will take on this is the over. I I think the play on this is the over. What are you getting for an over here? Total. Five and a half, yes. Over. San Jose's got poor defense. Uh, St. Louis, I, I, I don't know if they're going to go with uh, Ville, uh, Ville uh, Huso here um, on this one or the next one. I'm not sure. But either way, I like the over on this game. And I'm probably going to take San Jose PL. What kind of juice are you getting on the spread? 154. You're getting the same as St. Louis. San Jose has been playing a lot tougher lately. Um, and St. Louis has not been playing very well. So St. Louis PL is probably the play. You're not getting much juice. Wouldn't put much on it. But that's what I'm going with. Vegas versus Los Angeles. Um, Vegas is just rocking right now. The problem is that at center position uh, for them is a little tough. They have, uh, who's injured for their centers right now? Is it Carlson? Why don't I look it up? Uh, Stevenson, Chandler Stevenson is hurt. Uh, Alex Tuck is hurt. Ooh, this this could actually be a spot for L.A. What have they been playing? Vegas. Three games, uh, two games at home. This is the first one against L.A. Peterson should be a net. Flurry should be a net. Wow, this is a really tough game because L.A. has been playing absolutely fantastic. I'm going to take L.A. here. I'm going to take L.A. and I'm going to take the L.A. and the under. I just think they're going to tough this one out. Call it a gut feeling. Okay, that's my full 42, boy, boys and girls. That's all I have to give today. i got to go get some rest because I've got a live between 3 and 5 tomorrow where we talk about picks and uh, we have fun. You just go there and make your picks and... Uh, um, you, uh, just tell me what your picks are. And then if you get it right and the score, I send you a pearls of wisdom necklace and all that kind of fun stuff. 
It's fun. Come check it out. Three to five, five days a week, weekdays, Eastern time. If you have, take a little time off work. Take a day off. Come frolic with the land. It's fun. It really is enjoyable. Okay, have a great day, everybody. I hope those picks help you. By the way, I probably won't be doing picks for the weekend. If you want to get my picks, though, I do send them to my patrons. Uh, get over there. I'll give you a free month. You can have fun. As springtime comes, though, I probably won't be doing picks on weekends very often. Uh, so you'll, if you want them, you're going to have to go there. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.